back again by any cubic Chiron 3D printer. You can see I've got a few modifications already done to it. You can't see all of them from there. Move you back a little bit. So from here, you can see I got it lifted up about roughly four inches. Got some extenders for the feet. Adapters to fit my tennis balls. We can bounce around a little bit. Did all that. Couple of reasons. Quiet it down. There wasn't so much resonant into the coffee table that it's in. I also got that mod on the bottom of the control panel like I showed you with the fan. And I added some blue LED lights underneath. See them a little better now. I think that part came out pretty good. No issues so far with it. As I said, I did that to quiet it down. And as you can hear, I have a really loud fan running. I put the uh, this different adapter to for the blower on the extruder and to cool the parts, that is actually a 12 volt fan plugged into a 24 volt current. Um, I do have a little diode in there to, you know, or resistor in there to slow it down. It's actually only putting out about 10 volts, but still, that poor little fan is loud. I have some 24 volt fans on order that should be here hopefully in the next couple days. I'm actually printing a cable chain, kind of like what's up here, although not uh, production like that is. And uh, I actually did it earlier in the little covers that go on these. With the stock fan, couldn't cool them fast enough. I actually started knocking them off, and they weren't a dozen print. I had to slow it down to about 60%. And it did okay. I actually have it here somewhere. Here it is. That's where I actually put it out. It is actually black, but I had to do a lot of filing and a lot of sanding on this thing. Um, I downloaded it off Thingiverse. I don't know if it's my printer. I don't know if it was just the file that I used. Um, but I had to file them down quite a bit to get this to work. And of course, it, it works quite well now. Hopefully, you can see that in public right up in your face. Now, it's not going to be as long as this one. This one's actually going to go on the back of the, the bed over here. Uh, protect that cable so it never goes over the edge and I just don't even have to worry about it. Now as far as the big long one, it's over here that goes up to the gantry and the x-axis. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. I'm probably going to do a cable chain, but the one that I made I don't think it's strong enough to really support that long of a cable and it's going to be pretty much straight up in the air like this. I don't know why that's not bending. So, uh, I may actually order one from any cubic that's just like this one and mount on there. I think that might be the best option. And yes, I got a filament holder adapter on there. It's nice and round. If you can reach up a little higher where you can see that better. And again, it's it's not gray. It is black, but I, I had to sand it. It wasn't quite as smooth as I wanted. But yeah, there's no way the, the filament could ever fall off. And it spins nice and freely now on there. So I was just sharing a little bit of what I've done thus far. Prints, 
coming out amazing. I'm going to get you to see those a little better. And right now, that's just printing out the separate links for the cable chain. I'm going to see what this fan that I have on there if it prints any nicer. Um, hopefully. If it does, great. If not, I'll put the 24 volt fan in there and see if that does any better. If that doesn't work, we're probably going to end up changing this whole cover and go with something like the, I think it's called a, the Pet G fan, where it's blowing in from the left and the right. This one, I kind of like the way it looks, though. Well, hopefully it works. It looks like everything is sticking down. I've got the bed at 60 degrees, running my filament at, this case, 207. I am still using that ZYL Tech filament. Actually, all the mods, everything you've seen on here, I print it with that. All right, just a little quick update as to where I am and what we've done so far. Hopefully these cable chains come out. I know right there, they kind of look like the best. <laughs> um, they're actually pretty thin. There's not a whole lot to them. If you've printed a cable chain, um, this is only the second time I've ever done it. I got 10 individual ones and then the snap-on covers. Um, I could have done more, but I didn't want to do, you know, 50 of them and then find out it doesn't work. Um, this one's just 10, and it took me a little bit of work sanding it. I still need to clean it, but it does work. So if you have any thoughts on cable chains, if you got a better link, or if you just gave up and had to go buy a set, let me know. I think I can make it work. I wouldn't do, wouldn't make it where it's, you know, supporting any kind of weight or up in the air. But as far as uh, horizontal like this, it should be fine. And then the 24 volt fan I'll have on there in a couple days. One that's going to quiet it down, because that thing is just noisy. <laughs> that was just a cheap little 12 volt fan that I had laying around. And if it works, great. If not, it gives me an excuse to print out a, another part for it. And then, other than the cable chains, I can't think of anything else right now that I would print uh, is a modification otherwise pretty much out of the box it's a pretty damn good printer it doesn't really need anything I mean I think I was less than two hours and I was printing parts you know and they were coming out great um, some mods I, I think I'm gonna do the little cover strips that go into the, the aluminum extrusion I'm going to do all these. You'll see that later. And of course, you already see the kind of theme that's going on here. We are going to be sticking with the black and yellow. <laughs> all right. Thank you. And we're back. After some disastrous issues with the layer shifting, I got it all fixed back on where it's supposed to be. You can see it's printing pretty good. This is what I was dealing with. That's the layer shift. Fix that. Now we're back to perfect prints again. Wow. I was thinking about putting it in stepper knockdown or a buck thing for the 24 volt and 12 volt for my fan. Let's zoom out here a bit we can see what we're doing. But instead I had a friend of mine come up with as I make a mess a little box just like one that's inside there. This one's rated at 
12 volts. I can get it to zoom in. 1.5 amps. I think that'll be more than enough to run this fan. It's only 0.38 amps. And a little 40 mil on the side there for the blower that I'm going to put in. We'll actually be connecting up to this. This was before that we had the issues. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have any more. Uh, VREF settings. Uh, definitely want to make sure, I mean, even just the tiniest off will mess your entire print up. I spent two days dealing with this thinking it was belt issues, loose bearings, and it was none of those. I had adjusted the V-Reps, obviously improperly for the Y, it was too low. It's fixed now, hopefully no more issues. Fingers crossed. And then uh, when I get the rest of the feet made where I can get this off the ground, we get the, the fan mounted on the bottom, and then we'll actually get on with some stuff. Thank you.